Ola. Welcome to my channel. So hey guys, my name is Irma and this is my channel and usually I make technology videos and technology type of reviews and this video is still going to be very technology related but I'm, I don't have anything to review right now. It's actually going to be a coding video. I'm going to start sprinkling in some coding videos here and there, so it's gonna be pretty freaking cool. And I really hope you guys stick around to check them out. Even if you're just used to watching tech reviews and tech product reviews, um, this will still be a really cool video if you are interested or curious about learning coding. So this video, as you can tell from the title, is going to be about how to go from coding on codepen.io, which is a really neat tool that you can use just within your browser. And that's where you can just simply code out your HTML, your CSS, and your JavaScript. And you don't have to work with any folders. You don't have to create any new files. And you don't have to go out to Google and find a CDN to use, for example, if you want to use Bootstrap or if you want to use jQuery, right? So it makes it really simple. And I've noticed that a lot of um, different online uh, tools that you can use to code, similar to Free Code Camp, um, they don't really teach you how to work with a code editor. And most of the coding is done on codepen.io. And I, I understand why they do that. It's easier, it's simpler. You don't have to teach people how to use a code editor or like how to put files together and link them on all that. Um, but I do think it's really important if you're going, going to be applying to any developer role in the future uh, for you to be comfortable with using an IDE um, and creating your project folders and creating your files in there. So um, I thought it'd be a really cool video to just go over how to do that because I've met a couple people who have done Free Code Camp um, and they're not really comfortable with using a code editor on their own and that is okay. There's always time to learn. Um, and I really hope this video helps beginners who aren't really that comfortable with coding on a code editor like Sublime or Visual Studio. Um, I'm pretty much gonna be helping you create your own project folder um, and then setting up your folder structures and your files um, for that project um, using standards. So ways that not only you will understand, but also if you're coding with a team, everybody will know that the file structure is following a standard. So that will keep everything more organized and more free flowing and everybody will be happy and it'll be great and there'll be unicorns and rainbows because you'll have organized code and that's the best kind of code. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below and I will answer them. Um, I'm here to help, so as much as I can give back to you guys, I'm glad to do so. So let's get started and let's get into it. Now we're on my desktop. So as I mentioned before, codepen.io, online editor. And it's very similar to using JS Fiddle or Plunker or um, Repellet. So it's letting you do your code stuff and edit your code and make your files all online. So you don't have to worry about downloading a code editor or making any files. So um, this is what codepen.io looks like. Pretty much you have three panels. You have your different files or your code files laid out and um, you have your code written in them. As you can see, there's no linking of file. There's no, there's no link tag saying, hey, this is my CSS, or there's no scripts tag saying, hey, this is my JavaScript file. It's all linked in the background. We don't see it, we don't have to worry about it, which is really great, especially when you're beginning, um, because you don't have to think about all that, you can just focus on the code. But as you get more comfortable with coding, it's really important to start building your files on your desktop through a code editor. So I'm gonna show you pretty much how the setup looks like um, using a code editor and how you can just get these starter files going. I'm not gonna build out a whole website or anything. I'm just gonna show you how to create the project, the folder, and how to add files within your within your IDE. And if you don't have a code editor yet, please pause the video and I'm gonna leave um, links to the top four down below. Download whichever one you would like um, and then come back to this video. So once you've downloaded your code editor, whether that is any of the ones that I linked or one that you already have on your own, um, what you want to do is create a new project folder. So I'm going to create mine on my desktop, but you can create yours wherever you'd like. So mine is going to be on my desktop, so it's easy access. And I'm going to show this in a very simple way. I'm not going to be using command line or anything like that. It's going to be very stripped down and just really simple. So create a new folder, which is right here. And what I want to do is just 
name that folder. So I'm going to name it pin to IDE, which is my project. So click enter and open up the folder to show you guys. Currently it's empty. Nothing's in it. So what we're going to do, we're going to make the files that we need. So usually it's an index file. That's usually a CSS file for my, for my styles. That's usually maybe a JavaScript file for any scripts that I want to add to my page and maybe even an image folder. So I'm going to be pretty much creating all of that right now and feel free to follow along. So you've got your folder. It's empty. Easiest way to do this is to pin that code editor to your doc or to your menu bar, wherever it's easier for you to access and just click that folder and drag it into that code editor. And this is the simplest way without using command line or anything. Um, it's just dragging and dropping. So once you're in here, you can tell from the top of the window, it'll give you the folder name. So that's how you know that you're in the right place. And on the left, usually code editors will have an, a file explorer. So it pretty much shows you the layout of any files or folders within that project folder. So what we want to do is create a new file. And that first file is going to be an index.html file like that. So now we have that, that's our starter file. And maybe you want, we want to go ahead and add in just that basic skeleton. I don't have any uh, packages or extensions built into my, or added to my code editor. So I just usually go on htmlshell.com and just copy, copy this um, skeleton of a basic uh, HTML body. So I can just copy paste that. Maybe I can change the title up here and maybe just uh, make it pen to IDE. And I'll just add in an H1 with, an, with a hello world in there. Cool. So that's pretty much it. So you have this HTML file doing its thing, but of course I'm going to want to add some cells in there. So best way and best practice to do this, um, is to create a new folder. And this is kind of weird. Maybe you're thinking, let's just create a new file with, and just add it in there. No, it's actually better to create a, a separate folder for the CSS, the CSS files, just in case in the future you have like 10 or a hundred different CSS files. Um, they're all in one place that you can just go in and look through them, right? They're not just floating around in this project folder that I made. They're in a CSS folder. And not only is that going to make it easier on you, it's going to actually make it easier for people that you're working with. Um, especially if you're on a development team, really good thing to get into the habit of. There's this little icon right here to add a folder. So you can just click that and we're going to name this CSS. Right. So then inside the CSS folder, we want to add a new file called styles.css. And this could be literally named anything you want. It could be called tree.css, whatever you want. We're just using styles for right now. And so now we have a really cool index file. We have a really cool CSS folder with our styles in there. So I'm ready. I'm ready to make a, a style change to my page because right now I think it's looking kind of bare. Yeah, it's looking really bare. So really simple to do this. Split my screen really quick. Or try to. OK, so I can go into my CSS and I want to add, I want to target my body, which is going to be my whole entire HTML file. And I want to add a background color of value. Um, it's a yellow, right? So I want to add a background color of yellow. That's it, right? So I can just go back to my file. I can click refresh. Nothing happens. So that is because the index file doesn't know that my CSS file exists because I didn't tell it. So one thing to keep in mind when you're doing any, any sort of computer work or just coding is that, um, a computer doesn't really know what to do. You have to tell it what to do. So if I don't tell my computer, Hey, I have this CSS file that I want you to read these different, uh, properties and values for and display them on my page. It's not going to do it because it doesn't know that it's there. So what we have to do on our end is that we have to tell it, Hey, this is a CSS file and I want you to read it. So you want to add a link tag, right? So you're going to go right into your head and, uh, in here you just write link and tab if you're on visual studio. And I think other editors have this as well, or you can just write, write out link, which is a self closing tag with a route of style sheet and an href of folder file. 
And this path right here, it's pretty much telling, hey, my index.html file, I'm going to go into my CSS folder and I'm going to look for the styles.css file. So once that happens, make sure both of your files are saved and you can just refresh that page for yourself on your browser. And as you can see, it pops up yellow and that's because it read, it was like, it, it found the file, it read, it read the code on that CSS file and it displayed it. So that's awesome. So next up is JS. So same thing, we're going to create another folder called JS. And in that we're going to create a scripts.js file. And this is going to hold any sort of scripts that you want to add behave for to change the behavior of your website. Um, and what you can always do is do an alert, use two quotes, and you can write anything that you want in there. So anything that you want. And you can try to refresh the browser. Nothing happens as well. So same, same sort of process. It's not picking it up because we didn't tell it that it exists. Even though it's in the same folder and it's like, in the same vicinity, so like the HTML file is in the same vicinity and surroundings as the, as the scripts.js file, still doesn't know it's there. So we got to go in. Usually you can put your uh, scripts files towards the end, so on top of your closing body tag. And you can just write in script and then a closing script like this. And then you want to add a source equals double quotes of JS folder scripts file cool so now we have our css file and then we have our js file and pretty much from there again make sure both of your files are saved and you can refresh and now you got that nice little alert that we created as a test so that's pretty usually how you test your javascript files that's pretty awesome so now you have the starter um layout of of your your code files and your project and from here you can just build on you know, a p tag build on this add stuff right so it's right there so you can pretty much add whatever you want and this is really good structure to have when you're first starting off um if you want if you want to put in some images and you have those images on your desktop um the best thing to do is create a folder for those as well so these will keep all the images organized and you can just drag and drop your images that you're using from from your desktop into this image folder and then just link them in, inside of your html that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'll leave links to different code editors as well as um, htmlshell.com and this free code camp, codepen.io uh, pen. And feel free to check those out. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. I'm really glad to help you guys out. Um, and yeah, this was fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video.